so the first story of the day is, of course, John McAfee um, dead. Some are saying Did dead not kill of, himself. <laughs> or, some are saying suicided. We'll read a bit of the article here and we'll talk about it. John McAfee dead after apparent suicide in Spanish jail after court approves his extradition to U.S. on tax charges. Now, is CNBC going to talk about how he said he wasn't uh, suicidal or anything? Spanish newspaper first reported he's 75 years old. Wow. Died within hours of extradition ruling. That's not suspicious. In Barcelona. Oh, yeah. Um, in the Catalonia region of Spain. His lawyer told Reuters that McAfee Associates founder apparently hanged himself um, yeah, the, prison's like medic- <laughs> the prison's medical professionals attempted to resuscitate him. McAfee was being held at the Bryan's 2 prison in Catalonia, Ian Miles Chong. So he was saying, I think the last time he said he wasn't suicidal was October, and he even got yep. a tattoo, which was on the promo <laughs> image of this. Um, mm-hmm. What are your immediate thoughts on this? Everybody's immediately suspicious of this. Oh, I mean, they have a right to be. It's uh, it's obviously it's obviously he didn't kill himself, right? Now I have no evidence to show that he did <laughs> not actually kill himself, but it's rather suspicious that a man who has said time and time again since 2019, since he was uh, sent to jail, that you know if he is found dead, it would be due to the fact that he did not kill himself and that he wants people to investigate it. And I think we should investigate it because, you know, here's a man dead now. And apparently he knew uh, secrets, he had secrets on some 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 big people. So, I mean, whether those secrets are going to come out, whether he had a dead man switch uh, remains to be seen. There's been some rumors flying around that uh, he made some sort of cryptocurrency with that uh, that tag that he used, whacked. And uh, uh, it remains to be seen if any sort of uh, dead man switch is actually activated because thus far it doesn't seem like there is. But, you know, who knows? Maybe they got to it first. Um, Eric, I'm going to read this tweet uh, from last year, and then we'll get you to comment. I've collected files on corruption in governments. For the first time, I'm naming names and specifics. I'll begin with a corrupt CIA agent who and two Bahamian officials coming today. If I'm arrested or disappear, 31 terabytes of incriminating data will be released to the press. Um what does this say? Like he was Eric, he was constantly, and I'll bring up the tattoo here while you're talking. He was constantly being like, um, I'm not suicidal. I'll get this tattoo to prove that I'm not suicidal. What do you make of this? Well, obviously he was trying to get out in front of it. He thought something bad was going to happen to him. Now, I guess there's, we've come so far though, in my opinion, that the conspiracy now is that he didn't get that, right? So we've come full circle. So and I think it's probably more widely believed, especially with what he was saying, that he was suicided a la Epstein. So at this point, we've come full circle to the point where him actually committing suicide is the conspiracy. And I think the worst thing about this is that we've sort of become, I mean, it's, it's been normalized, right? Like we, we, people are still using uh, Epstein didn't kill himself memes and it's gotten so bad the like, and I don't even really know where this ties into like the political you know, world, but it's to the point where we've gotten used to saying that people were suicided, Arkansas, Epstein, all that stuff. It's like, how far are we going to take this? I mean, is there no more, uh, for lack of a better term, like decency is that we can all, we're all used to it now that our governments, our, you know, leaders, air quotes, are so corrupt that they, that we automatically believe they're they're ready to kill people. I know, obviously, I do. I believe these people are disgusting beyond belief. But do, what does that say about, I guess, America and perhaps the entire world? Is that we don't even entertain the idea that maybe he did kill himself because we know that everybody's already so corrupt. What is Arkansas? Is that Batman related? Oh, that's no. the, that's the Clintons. <laughs> that's, that's that's when the, when the Clintons Arkansas. get to you. Yeah, yeah, it's a Clinton body count. Look it yeah. up, guys. <laughs> oh, Look it up. Man, I'm hilarious. Okay, here's another one from him. Um, I'm content in here. I have friends. The food is good. All is well. Know that if I hang myself, a la Epstein, it will not be my fault, I assume he meant to say. Um, so the evidence keeps piling up. Is there, like, who investigates this, Ian? Does the... It has to be I, Spanish I, and maybe Interpol, right? I exactly. don't exactly know how Interpol does it, but you have to have some independent investigators there. There's got to be footage of the jail cell, unless you know that 
that footage mysteriously disappears. The cameras mysteriously malfunction. The security guards mysteriously weren't there. I mean, what's the deal? You know, how is it that a man in one of perhaps one of the world's most secure facilities manages to kill himself? Well, it's the same deal with Epstein, isn't it? And just really quick, um, do, do either of you guys think we're actually going to see this? I mean, he said right there in the tweet that if something should happen to him, he's got this, these terabytes of information. I mean, now, how could that possibly get, get exposed, right? I mean, you'd have to assume that he was taken care of so things like that wouldn't happen. So how could he possibly have arranged for that stuff to get out? Will we ever see that, like, see that information? Will we ever hear about that? Maybe through his wife, assuming he gave it to his wife. But then again, he'd probably not want to give it to his wife because that would put her in danger. So either, you know, if it exists, then he gave it to somebody else. We just haven't seen it yet. Maybe it's a matter of time or maybe it just doesn't exist, right? There is a possibility that he's simply trolling people and his uh, uh, act of suicide was just like his final act of trolling. I mean, the guy was a known troll. He was all. a troll. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. That would Fair be enough. an ep a very you know, method actor troll. What's with all the, he's got so many tweets about whales. Have you guys seen that stuff? Seen Not that, legal yeah. unless you're a whale. Um, no sleeping whales. What kind of man do you think I am? A humpback whale weighs 70,000 pounds is 50 feet long. Do we know what any of that means? Is that a reference to crypto or? Uh, Could be a reference to crypto because a crypto whale is somebody who has a ton of crypto. It's someone who has, you know, a percentage of the total amount of crypto there is. So that probably is a crypto reference. Eric Weinstein has something that he posted. Um, I watched one of your, it's a message on Twitter from McAfee. I watched one of your interviews about Epstein. Was he connected to intelligence agency? Where did his fortune come from? Why is no one's, why has no one spiking with Wexler, spoken with Wexler? I am more interested, however, and how he met his death and its bizarre circumstances and manipulations. Closer to home, finite time period, smaller cast of characters would be useful to have a Skype chat with him. Um, that sort of makes me think that maybe he doesn't know a bunch of stuff. Because if he's so in the know and has all these files on hundreds of thousands of, or whatever it was, a billion, kajillion terabytes on people, you'd think yeah. he'd be a little bit more in the know of what actually happened. He's not asking journalist Eric Weinstein these questions. Am I wrong to think that before we move on? Point. Yeah, I think you got a good point there. But again, you know, keep hope alive. He didn't kill himself. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of, Ian? The last time we did a live stream together, I, I think it was like October or something. I asked you if people should still trust the plan. <laughs> and, you said, and you said, no, definitely don't trust Hell the plan. No. Would you, yeah, the would plan you like turned to out a, to be bust. Yeah. Would you like to take a victory lap on that one? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I was totally right. You know, and those people are totally wrong. They're, they've got a new date now. They're claiming that, you know, uh, he's going to be president again in, in August. Yeah. No. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. heard that one 